deep in the Peruvian Andes. Eight novice climbers will set out to conquer a 20,000 foot mountain. Known for fighting, comedy, dancing, competitive eating, the Olympics, <laughs> or just being a jackass. None of them are known for climbing mountains, and they all have something different to prove to themselves. I've been doing this to push my people and my culture forward. Legendary thrill seeker Yuka Hilden will lead the way. <laughs> they must master the skills, I, uh... conquer their fears. Afraid of heights? I am. And survive the elements. <laughs> or they will be cut from the expedition. Send him down. Only those who persevere will make it to the top. gaming and online just making videos for YouTube and I've had to overcome people judging me and always thinking that my gameplay is not real just because I'm a girl there's like no way there's no way she can be good at games I'm here to kick ass like I do in gaming I want to prove that I can climb the mountain that I am physically able to do things that I never thought I could do We are in Peru. We've just been in the car for about nine hours and we're about half an hour away from where we're going. Hola. Nope. I was the first athlete to come out in any action sport, which was a scary step to take. But in sports and in life, you have to really be able to conquer your own fears before you're able to conquer any sort of challenge that's in front of you. I'm gonna be a complete novice at this whole mountaineering thing. I think I've had a pretty good experience overcoming fears, so it makes me feel good. It definitely gives me a little bit of confidence going up into the mountains with these guys. The Andes Mountains run the length of South America. Some of its highest peaks are located deep in the heart of Peru. They surround the remote city of Huaraz, the jumping off point for the team. From everywhere in the city, you can see the deadly peaks looming above. We're about to go up 20,000 feet, and it's a real thing. People die on this mountain. People die in mountain climbing. But we're going there, we're tackling this beast, we're taking it by the balls, and we're gonna summit that son of a bitch. I've already been there two years ago, and I did not summit that mountain because of a storm. And now that's my dragon to slay, to summit Mount Tokarahu. Summiting a mountain the size of Tokarahu takes a team of people with one shared goal. Every climber also has an important personal reason for coming here. It's been seven years since I retired and kind of felt a little lost. <laughs> you ready to take on one of those? Oh, yeah, for sure. I have a wife and three kids at home. I would love for them to see me at the top of that 20,000-foot mountain uh, with my hands in the air. Hi. Hey, what up? Hi. Ooh. I'm so excited to be here. Hey. Hi. 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 What's up, man? How you doing? No one on the team has any climbing experience but they all bring something unique to this expedition. Yeah, dude, want some pee? <laughs> Is that all pee? <laughs> I'm known for doing dumb stuff, like putting things up my butt. I think what drives me in virtually everything that I've ever done is uh, that I'm an attention whore. All right. Are you guys feeling any, like, any altitude? Out of breath? Anybody? A little bit. The biggest threat in mountain climbing 
is altitude sickness. The team will acclimate in Huaraz for the next three days before they leave for base camp. At 10,000 feet, every breath has a third less oxygen than at sea level. And the higher they climb, the bigger the threat. I was so glad to have you here. Anybody have a headache? Me, starting to get one. A little, little bit. lightheaded. Feels like I already drank a beer, but I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it easy. Get comfortable, get to your room, drink a lot of water, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. We will get, we'll get ready to tackle this beast of a thing. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, thank you. But even with the added time to acclimate, everyone will struggle with altitude sickness in some form. They don't have an elevator? <laughs> hey, you're gonna go and climb a mountain. <laughs> I'm so winded. I wanna prove to myself how strong I am. I wanna set a good example for my daughter. I want her to watch this and say, like, wow, my mom climbed a mountain. She did it. Oh yeah, I like this. This is nice and rustic, beauty. This past year, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. I had my left testicle removed. It was definitely the most difficult battle of my life, uh, going through chemotherapy. And to simply be here right now, damn, that's a good feeling. Like, we're in Peru, right? Well, we're in Peru, we're in Juarez. Yeah, we're in Juarez. What, is, what does Juarez mean? Juarez, it's, it's a small town in the middle of Peru. It's like a, a mountain climbing capital, but it's, it's a small, dirty town. <laughs> yeah, it's a small, dirty town. And I promised the guy in charge of production that I would not drink tap water. Google Maps tells me I'm in Peru, but the location and the setting in this room tells me I'm in India. But then you step outside here, right? And they're like, oh yeah, no, I'm in Peru. We landed last night. It is the first day here, straight flight orientation and all sorts of nonsense. Uh, what are you doing in Peru? I'm climbing a mountain. I actually didn't vlog at all when I got, um, when we got into Juarez yesterday. Um, I was really pooped, I was really tired and the altitude was kind of making me feel really wonky and I didn't know what it was and I walked up the stairs and I was like, <gasps> we have orientation this morning and I am so excited because I'm finally gonna get the information. I've been trying to pry from everybody. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Cause your girl gotta eat. I would like a little more sleep, but I can actually run up the stairs without feeling like someone hit me in the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that was nice. I have not felt hungry once since we've been here, and I've just been, like, forcing myself to eat. They say it's a I'm side effect of altitude thing, like yeah. loss of appetite. I think it made me hungrier. <laughs> I started dancing when I was six, ballet, and then got into hip-hop when I was nine. I was really, really shy. I would hide behind my mom. I would cry. I cried my very first hip-hop class, but I wanted to do it. So that was always my thing. I wanted to do things that scared me. So I'm used to challenging myself. As an athlete, I obviously have the mindset of nothing's going to stop me. So who am I to sit here and turn this opportunity down because I'm scared? It's real. We're gonna try to climb a 20,000 foot mountain that is called Toklara. Here are the rules you're gonna live by on this expedition. Because you gotta learn every single thing to be able to go up on that mountain and come down safely. Or if you're not healthy enough, or if you don't have the physical capability, you will be eliminated. It's a matter of safety, and safety is number one. And I wanna scare you too much, but eight people died summiting the past few months. And they're the people that make stupid mistakes. How, how is everybody feeling at this moment? Like, about the altitude? Because we just came here, we're in, what, 10,000 feet right now? And for most of you guys, it's the first time. Last night, I was starting to get a little bit freaked out that I couldn't breathe, and um, the doctor came and looked at me. Sometimes I just need that reassurance 
I don't like feeling out of control. I was really nauseous when I woke up, like I threw up a little bit before breakfast. And not a lot of people have the courage to take the bull by the horns and go out of their comfort zone. And I mean, you've never even been camping, right? No. And you're here, you're in Peru. Yeah. Now, I yeah. think that's a pretty epic first time camping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go and try to summit a 20,000 foot mountain. Mm. <laughs> I got my name Sniper Wolf from a video game. It was one of the very first games I played. It's called Metal Gear. Sniper Wolf was my favorite character and my inspiration. She's like a really badass character and I always wanted to be like her. And I kind of like to think that I am. <laughs> Just really coming in hot, right? I'm like, for some reason, I'm not nervous, but I'm like really excited. Uh, I think the biggest interesting thing I'll learn is just learning to listen to my body. If you Google image search mountaineer, mountain climber, like if I do that right now, all you get is like pictures of like four or five white dudes standing on top with like grizzly beards and like, eh, that's it. You'll never see a brown guy climb a mountain. It's like a black dude playing hockey. I told my parents this and they were so mad at me. They're like, why would you go do Goreanda Kam? Goreanda Kam in Punjabi means shit white people do. Why would you go do shit white people do? That's how revolutionary and monumental it is. I want to introduce you to the expedition leader, Mikko Vermas. He, he calls the shots. He's summit at Mount Everest. He's been climbing here for 20 years. His word is the rule, and he's going to keep us safe. Climbing Mount Toklarahu is treacherous. The team will have to cross glaciers and navigate crevasses. The last stretch is a near vertical ice wall with a half mile drop on either side. For their own safety, the climbers will be constantly evaluated by the expedition leader and the team doctor. We got one of the world's top high altitude doctors with us, Heikki Karinen, and he's also been to Everest. We can count on them with our lives. That's why they're here. Yeah. Sorry, but um, <laughs> yeah. last year I had ankle surgery. It's called open reduction, where my ankle is held together with lots of screws and a plate. Is that a problem? No, but I think one screw might be a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Enjoy your time in Juarez while you can, because tomorrow we start the first test. <laughs> the team still needs time to acclimate to the lower oxygen levels. They'll have the rest of the afternoon to stock up on supplies and explore the vibrant streets of Juarez. I love dogs, so I pay attention to street dogs everywhere I go. And um, we've seen all kinds of dogs here in Peru. <laughs> Next thing you know, Gus and I are trying to feed dogs. Finding a dog that wants to eat his <coughs> dog food is turning out to be more difficult than expected. Hey, hey, poopy. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Oh my God, you are so cute. Oh, it's okay. The dogs don't like us. Oh, oh, sorry. Alrighty. Hello. Hola. Verde. Bueno. Um, Hoja de coca? Yeah, we need some coca leaves. We Buena the, coca. I think we need the pre premium no, we stuff. We definitely right? need the premium. Buena yeah. coca verde. Oh, this is good. This is good stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can we get... I think we need a whole bag. I have to hold my breath. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad in here. <laughs> Hola. It smells really bad here. Like, I, I can barely breathe. I'm cool, I'm chilling. Let's, let's look at some more carcasses. <laughs> it's culture. Honestly, I, I feel like in Punjab, it looks no different than Punjab. People look the same. Uh, the streets, the smells, there's rickshaws well, going around. The only thing different is the signs. The signs are written in Spanish, and that's it. A little bit. I'm getting a ton of nuts. I'm really excited. Make your because, own trail mix. Yeah, Whole Foods, but in Peru. My tongue is so numb right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, my <laughs> I can't feel anything. <laughs> a little curious how the white powder makes your mouth numb. <laughs> I hope they're just benefiting me in some way. Well, it's supposed to be great for the hikes. As right. I said, elevation and hikes. I feel, I feel like maybe we shouldn't have done it right now, because we don't even need it right now. 
<laughs> oh, she's laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Cam, you're a pretty girl. Under that. Cam, you're a pretty girl. Aww. Hello. Who's the sweetest girl? Hello. You think she's the one for the tent? She could definitely come stay at my hotel. <laughs> she loved the food and she's followed me around and I named her Wendy. It's time for Wendy to have a spa day at the vet. Flea bath, get rid of her uh, critters, clean her up, get vaccinations, just treat her right. We get to the hotel, trying to sneak her through the lobby. <laughs> The first person that sees me is the guy that runs the whole hotel. Just a bust. I said, okay, give me a sleeping bag. I'm sleeping outside with the dog. We're sleeping out here, girl. Yeah. Yeah. They're pitching the tent for me and Wendy. All right, dude, we'll see you in the morning. Today's the day. We're gonna do the first test hike. We're gonna do a four-hour hike, and we're gonna go up to 12,000 feet. Here's the day I've been waiting for, you know? It's to go out there and start doing something. Get a backpack on and go out there and hike and actually look at the nature and see the mountains. So, you guys, we're on our way to the hike. This is the first hike we're doing. And, yeah, it's like an hour away. It's getting really hot in here. There's no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, We're dead. <laughs> We're gonna try to do the bus. Why would we do that? <laughs> roll, 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 and they could be cut from the expedition before it even begins. Yuka and the Finnish team will be evaluating them every step of the way. So our trip is going from, the, from there. Then we are continuing up there. You can see the highest point. Don't go too fast if you're feeling that you start to breathe like really heavily, then you're going too fast. Wanna come and talk to me here? I have felt. Yeah. Just wanted to tell you that Take it easy and re really pay attention how you're feeling, because you know how you suffered. You had some symptoms down yeah. in Juarez, and now we're going 2,000 feet higher up. I was already having problems yesterday. I just hope that I can do the hike. The doctor also said that you're not fully acclimated yet, so okay. just pay attention. So I want you on that mountain. I want to go too. I'm watching Nikki because she's been having a hard time uh, acclimating. Her heart rate's been 140, and that's just over the top. And uh, it's not looking good. Hey, Chuck. Please take it easy. We're going to go all the way that way. We're going to gain altitude, and it's a tough trek physically, even though you don't feel it. I realize it's a marathon, not a sprint. I want to, I got a, we got a lot of days ahead of us. And we're in no hurry to get anywhere, so my heart starts going up, I'll slow it down. Cool. I'll take it easy. We're gonna try to keep it slow and just kind of follow the rules. Can I kind of stay with everybody? Let's go. Hey, uh, guys, by the way, I'll let you in on a little secret, but this dark oh is actually God. really you good. Get away from me this with has so much vitamins in it. What do you have there? Got, got, uh, it's donkey poo. And, but it's really good for climbing. Chachi, you want some of this? Oh, did you just throw it at me? <laughs> you know, today was the first day I could run up and down the stairs without uh, getting shortness of breath at 10,000 feet. So uh, now I'm going to see how it works going up 13,000. My approach to obstacles is always try harder, work harder. I think the hard part is I have a tendency to, to go fast, especially uphill. I don't have a s slow button, so I, I'm gonna have to learn to pull back. And I, I don't know if I'll notice the symptoms of feeling like, okay, you gotta slow down for the altitude. OK, 
Okay. So, sounds like we already lost someone. We're like 15 minutes in. I know, well, I'm not naming names, but Nikki was falling far behind. <laughs> I feel short of oxygen and um, my heart rate gets really high. I just need to concentrate. I'm telling myself I need to calm down. <laughs> As the team climbs to 13,000 feet, they're getting their first real taste of the upcoming hike to base camp. I'm just trying to keep up with my girl. Breathing is difficult as oxygen levels decrease with every step. <coughs> the lower the oxygen, the faster fatigue sets in. Under these conditions, even the smallest mistakes get magnified. I've got bad news. I didn't know I was supposed to try on my shoes. They don't even come close what the? to fitting me. And so because I've been wearing these stupid shoes, now my pinky toe is telling me Congratulations on your blister. <laughs> asshole. I can't believe I'm such a dipshit. See how professional the, the <laughs> best altitude doctor in all of the world. See how he's taping it. It's like duct tape. It's, it's duct tape. I'm an idiot. The team approaches the halfway point. Now it's more important than ever to focus on how their bodies are reacting to the lower levels of oxygen in the air. I've been telling myself this entire trip, like, don't be overconfident. I think I'm just kind of, like, training my mind to, like, remain focused, you know? I think it's a good little, good little test hike to, you know, get your shit in order and figure out, you know, where your strengths lie, where your weaknesses lie. You gotta do whatever it takes. So, 50 minutes break, drink it, but lunch is the highest point after, like, maybe 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, the walk to base camp is obviously a longer hike, uh, or at least I'm told. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think if we get through this, uh, no problem, then we'll be able to get to base camp. We'll be able to get to base camp. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> hey guys, let's go. It's not really a competition on how I look at it. The person who comes in last is the most likely person to actually be doing good. You're, you're keeping your pace. Good. No talking. No talking. Don't get out of breath. But you're listening. That's good. Watch me come out on top. I'll get there. <laughs> climbed all the way to the top. And when that's a practice hike, you know you're in for some gnarly shit. <laughs> so we made it to the highest point of our trek, and it's all downhill from here. So I did it. Once we reached the top, the doctor came back around and tested everyone's saturation levels. And my heart rate was at 115. So it went down like a lot from 140. I don't have to make it to the top of the mountain very fast. I just have to make it to the top of the mountain. Yeah! <laughs> All right, cool. I'm not gonna lie, I was in, I was in the back. I was in up front, but I mean, I'm going at my own pace. I'm taking my time, both of us. <laughs> A lot of the group like was really fast, and uh, we were, Leah and I were taking it pretty slow, and I think that's the best way to go, especially for us. Heart rate? 130. Saturation, 81. Okay, heart rate is uh, 127. Saturation is 83. Heart rate at rest, 115. Oxygen saturation, 86, which is good. We are still 800 meters higher than Huaras. Right. So this is good. Despite some mild symptoms of altitude sickness, the team has been cleared for the hike to base camp tomorrow. It's behind the clouds. Looks like it's calling my name. On that first push, they'll be going twice as far, 
4,000 feet higher with triple the weight on their backs. For most of the team, that's when the real test will begin. Nothing matters except for the last peak. And so the fight is that last summit. Everything up until then is just training. I look at it, it's just like the tortoise and the hare. I'm gonna be the tortoise. I'm trying to be one of the last guys standing on the top of that mountain. that they made us do a hike today to figure out if we were acclimated. They could have brought us here and we could have jumped for five minutes yeah. and you would have seen who's acclimated and clearly I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh my God, everything hurts so bad. And to top it all off, I have the worst sunburn. I feel like I really struggled in the beginning part and nobody else was struggling except me. And it was just very hard for me to breathe. I live by a motto. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. And this real expedition that starts tomorrow could be considered pretty dumb, but I'm ready. Bring it on. Woo! We're about to go to base camp, and I'm gonna be off the grid for a little while. My family sent me a great video to inspire me and uh, keep me happy. We all believe in you, and we can't wait for you to summit the mountain. Don't quit. You know that you can do it. The dolls never give up, Dad. I love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. And remember, you're an example you to all these kids. <laughs> and never quit, ever. Never quit. The only advice to give myself at a breaking point is my cubs are watching. I can't let them down. My wife's watching. Can't let her down. The Dells don't quit. So I'm gonna prove it to them and make them proud. Four months ago, um, to this day, I finished chemotherapy and it was a big struggle. Um, I never thought four months ago that, you know, I'd be in this position where I'm healthy enough or brave enough right now, really, because I'm not 100% right now, um, to, uh, to do something like this. And I'm, uh, I'm just so happy with myself, uh, with, with how far I've come right now since chemo, and uh, to be able to, to go and attempt to climb a 20,000 foot mountain. I know this is not supposed to be easy, you should not expect everyone to make it to the top, but I'm going to give it my all. And we're going to conquer. We're going to conquer this mountain. This season on Ultimate Expedition. The hike is officially beginning. Are you ready for today? No. <laughs> Too much blood has rushed to my head. <laughs> it's just a surreal moment for me. Afraid of heights? I am. Do you feel nervous? Every time we go on a mission, it's the most intense mission I've ever been on. We have to climb up that. There's no room for error. Gus is like a spider monkey. Ha! 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 It's infected, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'll try to keep up. Send him down. It's a bubble. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm exhausted. Night time is right time. One, two, three, seven! This is the most batshit crazy thing I've ever agreed to. I think I cried the whole way. <clears throat> I want to quit. I want to quit all the time. I just realized this is pure madness to bring these people here. <laughs>